Second Review Introduction We are now ready for another review. We will begin where our last review left off and cover two ideas each day. The earlier part of the day will be devoted to one of these ideas and the latter part of the day to the other. We will have one longer exercise period and frequent shorter ones in which we practice each of them. The longer practice periods will follow this general form. Take about 15 minutes for each of them and begin by thinking about the idea and the comments which are included in the assignments. Devote about three or four minutes to reading them over slowly, several times if you wish, and then close your eyes and listen. Repeat the first phase if you find your mind wandering, but try to spend the major part of the practice period listening quietly but attentively. There is a message waiting for you. Be confident that you will receive it. Remember that it belongs to you and that you want it. Do not allow your intent to waver in the face of distracting thoughts. Realize that whatever form such thoughts may take, they have no meaning and no power. Replace them with your determination to succeed. Do not forget that your will has power over fantasies and dreams. Trust it to see you through and carry you beyond them all. Regard these practice periods as dedications to the way, the truth and the life. Refuse to be sidetracked into detours, illusions and thoughts of death. You are dedicated to salvation. Be determined each day not to leave your function unfulfilled. Reaffirm your determination in the shorter practice periods as well and using the original form of the idea for general application and a more specific form when needed. Some specific forms will be included in the comments. These, however, are merely suggestions. It is not the particular words you use that matter. Lesson 61 I am the light of the world. How holy am I, who have been given the function of lighting up the world? Let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me remember who I am. Some specific forms for applying the idea when specific difficulties seem to arise might be Let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance. This shadow will vanish before the light. I am the light of the world.
Lesson 62 Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. It is through accepting my function that I will see the light in me. And in this light will my function stand clear and perfectly unambiguous before my sight. My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is, for I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light I will see it as it is. Specific forms for using the idea might include let this help me learn what forgiveness means. Let me not separate my function from my will. I would not use this for an alien purpose. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world.